Hey everyone, Justice Good here, back with another Photoshop how to video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the character panel in Photoshop. So, you can use this panel to create like a cool little design or blocks of text like this, and it's just a really useful tool to know in Photoshop. So, I figure the best way to show you is I'm going to recreate this block of text and I'm going to use the character panel throughout to align my text. So the first thing you want to do in your document is grab the text tool, select a font and a size that is suitable for whatever you're working on. I'm just going to use something big enough for you guys to see and then type out your first word or phrase. Um, you can hit the enter key and then type in the rest of the words and then hit the enter key and do it all on one layer but it's easier for me I feel like if I do it word by word or phrase or chunk by chunk so we'll do the how to first so once you have your first word I'm not really going to do much to it but one thing I do want to open if you hit the text tool it's always right here this is the character and paragraph panel you can also find it under the window character or paragraph um, they're just connected so when you open one the other one will open but if you go to window character it'll open up this little menu here and here you can adjust everything about your text you can adjust the the font the size and the cool part is you can adjust the, the spacing and the sizing vertically and horizontally so just so we get everything perfectly aligned before we continue on our next word or phrase, go ahead and hit view and turn on rulers. Now just so you have a perfect guideline, you could eyeball it, but just a cool extra tip. If you drag from the left or, or either side, you can place a vertical or horizontal ruler onto your image. Um, so you have already made mine but you can also remove these rulers if you just have the uh, the move tool you can take the rulers and drag them back out of view but these rulers will be our guideline so that we don't so that we know what we're working with so next we're going to move on to the next word so we're going to use use but you see use doesn't really fill up or align the same way so since it doesn't fill up the same space that how to fills up we can use the character panel to get things aligned again so there's a couple things you can do if you highlight it I can always just increase the size until it's big enough and I'm I'm using the, the uh, arrow keys on my keyboard the up and down arrow keys are the easiest way I find to quickly adjust the text and precisely adjust the text. If you hold shift you can increase it by tens. If you don't hold shift it'll go one by one. But let's say I don't want to just keep increasing the size until it's big enough because then the word just becomes too big and there's too much emphasis placed on that one word. What you can do instead is highlight it you can maybe increase the size a little bit but then you can take this tool right here which is the tracking which is let's see if I increase the tracking it spaces out the letters but in a perfectly symmetrical way so by increasing the tracking I can keep things in proportion and then I can grab my move tool and just use the arrow key to fill it out. You can take the time and make yours absolutely perfectly aligned. I'm just going to kind of go quickly for the sake of this video. But Once you like how it's aligned, um, you can go ahead and type your next phrase or chunk. And this one is going to be the. Now I could just keep it the same because use and the are both three letters, but I think it looks a little 
weird that they're both spaced the same. It creates too much weird space. So what I'll actually do is I'll lower the size of the it's kind of it kind of looks like a visual reading test now that you think about it the way things are spaced out um, I'll, I'll go ahead and make it bold see in the character panel you can make things bold italic um, superscript subscript underlined cross through but I'll go ahead and this time instead of increasing the tracking so much I'll make it bold and italic and I'll increase the size Actually, on second thought, let's make it smaller and increase the tracking a whole bunch. You can play around with it however you like. So again, I'm using the the arrow keys, the up and down arrow keys to make the tracking more or less. Um, and if you hold shift, it'll go by larger increments. So I think that brings some variation so you can separate the two words there. And then next we're going to type our next word. So you can see that this word character has much more letters in it so I definitely can't use the same huge amount of tracking there. So I'll set it back to zero and it's actually still even a little bit too long and I want to make this a little bigger so it's a more important word in the sentence so what can I do well the cool thing about the tracking tool is you can actually use it to go backwards and scrunch the text in together but you don't want to go too far because then you just can't read anything I mean you could use that for some type of abstract effect but you can also um, aside from adjusting the tracking you can stretch or scale the text vertically and horizontally so I can actually scale horizontally scale this in it's kind of like using the transform tool but this won't deform your shapes so once I have that into place um, I'm actually gonna unbolden and unitalicize it and that will let me increase the size a little bit. Once I have that into place how I like, I'm going to go ahead and type my last word. I'm sure you get the idea by now. Um, it's just kind of a cool design trick. You can It creates interesting blocks of text and I'm sure you see it in magazines and designs all the time. So for this one, uh, I'll make it bold. I'll decrease the size, I'll increase the spacing, and I'll actually shrink it down and stretch it back out. Decrease the tracking. See I'm just using all the tools in the character panel to make everything fit. And then in as a, a final touch you can just Go layer to layer and use the move tool and the arrow key tool to adjust up and down and make sure everything's spaced out evenly. And of course you can use rulers and guidelines along the way to make everything perfect. Um, then I can just select all the layers together by holding shift and I can move this entire block of text wherever I like. So this is a very useful tool to have the character panel whenever you're creating some type of design that involves text or typography and I'm sure you've seen this before so hopefully this helped you out if there's any type of video you want to see you can go ahead and leave me a comment or definitely send me an email with examples at justthisgood at gmail.com and I'd love to make a video about it I'm always open to video ideas so hopefully you learned something um, Subscribe for more tutorials and keep in touch. Later.